everybody today i'm going to teach you how to create a dao the only video i could find on youtube was by avb showing how to use sputnik fund and since there there's been the creation of astro dao and astro plus plus and near js or the blockchain operating system the front end decentralized framework that actually lets you store a uh, front end code on chain i'm going to walk through today how to create a dao on uh, both astro dao and astro plus plus a little bit explain the differences because as you know on potluck we have some flows that allow you to propose to register as a DAO, propose to apply to a quadratic funding as a DAO, um, to even uh, pretty soon donate as a, a DAO as well. And um, that's one of the main reasons that brought me to the near ecosystem is the ability to have robust DAO infrastructure. I'm also going to go over um, the trade-off and things that we need built in the ecosystem. But just so you know, on near everything is a smart contract. And a DAO is also a smart contract. So anything you can do with your normal account, you can do with a DAO, but it primarily consists of two things, uh, proposing to do something and then voting to do something. And whoever the voting body is, I'll actually show you that in the settings, um, that determines the actual execution of this cross-contract call or of this vote. And so um, there are uh, primarily two different interfaces on here. Right now, I'm basically on something called um, Near Social, which is the OG gateway um, for interfacing with um, code that's stored on chain. So you can see the name of this account is after plus plus dot NDC dot tools dot near. And then under the widget, it's called the home. And you can see it's under the tab DAOs. And so this whole application here has other things. If you know about the Near Digital Collective, it is the DAO of DAOs, um, the whole Near ecosystem as a DAO. They actually use this as a portal to uh, understand the governing bodies. And they have a forked version of Sputnik DAO, um, which is Sputnik DAO is the name of the contract that creates other DAOs. It's a DAO factory. And so you'll see a bunch of other DAOs under that namespace, independent contracts that you deploy under the Sputnik dash DAO dot Near contract. But the NDC has their own thing with their own checks and balances that allow, uh, for example, the council advisors to veto proposals that have um, happened to the HOM. So this is a completely boss native solution. There's also something that is Astro DAO, um, which is the initial solution originally maintained by Pagoda, which is like the labs of a near, and it's now being deprecated and slowly this will re redirect to Astro plus uh, plus. But me being someone who's a part of uh, various DAOs, I use both and also another component that I'll show you. And so um, I'm going to show you how to create a DAO and on near right now, the only DAO tooling that we have is kind of like a multi-sig with different groups and roles. You basically um, can uh, create a name of a DAO, you can create different groups, and you can basically assign them different permissions to either vote or propose to do something um, with each group kind of having a checkbox. Um, so you can ve like very granularly set your uh, permissions. Um, so if I go to Astro DAO, this is the launch app. Um, if I click the homepage, it actually redirects to the near.org gateway. But if you click the plus button, you could choose a down name and purpose. Um, this is also the same with Astro Plus Plus. If you go to the homepage DAO, you can go to create new DAOs as well. Um, just so you know, um, to actually get um, you might use, you know, gateways, for example, boss.potluck.org, what I showed you before for registering, that's their own gateway because of an API course issue or a way to basically kind of whitelist uh, gateways and websites that interact with the API. This uses something called Pikespeak, pikespeak.ai. Um, so in order to use certain gateways, it might show that no DAOs are there because that gateway has not been whitelisted. Uh, boss.potluck.org is an example of one. So we'd have to hit the Pikespeak up team there. And I'll show you alternative boss solutions that uses near API.js, which is um, an API for directly interacting with the near blockchain um, to actually pull this information. But uh, originally, let's we're going to make a sample DAO. Uh, we run a group called uh, near DAO builders. Um, and so let's call this DAO builders. Um, it's going to autofill the name, the DAO address based on that name. Soulbound token issuer. Um, we're not going to put this. This isn't necessarily relevant. Uh, and we're going to say we are, I have a, a community groups thing here. I'm just going to put this here and copy that permission over. I'm also going to kind of put it in sample here where you can see the little bit of the difference. Again, what I'm using right now is Astro DAO. It will be deprecated. If you have any options, you can actually put your legal status in your legal document. If you have a cooperative framework, if a Meat Islands DA, Cayman Islands DAO, uh, a Wyoming DAO, there's a lot of frameworks here. Um, this doesn't provide tooling for you to actually have that legal wrapper, but it allows you to reference these documents and update it later 
So um, this is here, it's optional. I'm going I'm to kind of skip steps. Um, so after plus plus is a plus plus because it has the NDC. It also has Web3 social uh, uh, features like we use on Potluck. I'm going to next links and socials. I'm going to have uh, the Telegram here. I would highly recommend to join it if you are building DAO tooling. TG dash builders. Let's go to next steps. Um, and then I'm again, I'm doing both the same. Uh, I'm doing both the same steps for uh, both of them, just so you can see the little bit of the differences. Um, and I'll show you how to uh, do the backlog. A cool down period is the time in between to uh, for something that is actually approved to when it executes. Um, this was primarily done in, in this interface because um, like like I showed you the checks and balances of the NDC, which this was uh, originally built for, but I'm gonna put for zero because I'm used to when my DAO does something, it immediately execute after it's been voted on. And that's one of the biggest difficulties of a DAO is not only proposing something, but gaining awareness around the DAO to vote um, enough to reach a quorum. And then we're gonna add groups and members. Um, on the Astro Plus Plus UI, it's a little bit confusing because uh, this just shows an example. But first, I'll add a group, and I'm going to actually add a group called Proposer. And then I'm going to, uh, now I'm going to add each person. Now you can see the Proposer is one of the options. I'm going to put Council. I'm going to put DowBuilders.near because this is the name of the account that I'm using right now. And then I'm going to have another Proposer, let's say. Uh, and I will have to actually set these up. And then on, on the Astro uh, Dow, I, it's a little bit separate in UI on here. Let's let's put proposer here and you can go to the next steps and now you can also see it's there. It defaults the account that you're logging into as the council member, um, just so you know um, there. Uh, and then let's put, um, what did I put before? Again, I'm doing kind of feature parity, plug rel.near. And usually you would have more people initially. Um, and this is actually the easiest point to set up people for a group, because up until this point, every decision to add a member, add a group, add multiple members to the group has to be executed. It has to be proposed and then voted on. Since you're creating the DAO, initially you can just do it here. And so a lot of times um, we will create all of our groups, say we have a hundred groups, um, say we have a uh, a hundred people from a token and we want to take the holders and put it there, we'd actually configure all the settings from this point on because any change itself has to be a coordinated DAO proposal. It's all on chain from this point forward. So normally I wouldn't just do two. Also a note, what we don't have, again, this is all groups and council and role based and people executing based on the minimum quorums and the amount needed to execute for uh, that voting body. And so like, we do not have token-based DAOs. So if you're a token holder, we don't have anything that sticks to that. We don't have NFT-based DAOs. Um, there is like an SBT DAO configuration for the near DC or the near digital collective group, but this currently does not exist. So if you're looking for like a nouns DAO implementation or to quickly create a DAO from your token, that's not what's happening on near as of right now. Although it's very robust in that you could do any cross-contract call um, and DAOs do have a lot of treasuries. We are looking for people to basically extend the Sputnik DAO, make another version and add fungible token support and NFT support there. And also, if you know, Join the DAO Builder group. If you're looking to do that, join Build DAO. We'll, uh, we'll link you to the appropriate uh, resources. But currently, that does not exist. So I'm going to go here. I like after DAO's UI here. It actually gives uh, a breakdown with proposal creation. Again, I propose to do something. Who is allowed to do this? And what actions are they allowed to do within this proposal uh, type of actions? And then there is, if you go next, the voting permissions. What they do is tend to, there's a tendency for the council to be the all knowing, all powerful group where they can do any proposal, any voting member. And traditionally, you don't just have one person in this case, you'll have three to five people is a good amount for having an official council. Because if you have five people, you need three people to vote um, and, and to actually execute that and do that on chain. And so I'm going to go back to Astro Plus Plus. You get a, a variant group. Let me go to the next steps. And then you can see here, uh, they have it all in one proposal and voting uh, permissions. For this, I'm going to actually have it so that uh, a proposer can propose to do a function call. I'm not going to have them able to vote. So in the case for Potluck, you may say that, hey, I want people to be able to propose um, a function call maybe is registering for Potluck or 
buying an NFT. I want that proposal group to be able to do it, but I don't want them to have execute because the execution is actually tied to the funds. Whatever is in that smart contract or in that wallet for the DAO, every wallet is a smart contract, then they have access to funds. So in this case, I'm saying, hey, the proposer, they're going to have function call. The rest are also DAO config and DAO policy changes. So I could also be like, people can propose to change the DAO policy or change who can propose and to do what, but they can't vote on it. Um, they can propose to make a simple transfer of near. They could uh, propose to add or remove members. A lot of times this may be the case if I have a bot for a key palm or a DAO bot that basically um, when a token is minted, every time it proposes to add a new member, I could also have it vote on being a new member as well. Everything that you see here in the proposal creation is also available on the voting permissions, uh, but I'm not going to do that. So a lot of times we might have a, um, a, a wallet or even a smart contract. Any account address can be added as a role. Um, the difference is Astro DAO has some type of like validation to check if it's a valid address. Astro Plus Plus doesn't. There is, um, if you go to neardc.org slash uh, Astro dash backlog, you can actually see the backlog for the uh, NDC technical work group, which maintains Astro Plus Plus to, to build out these features. Um, but this is still under uh, development. Uh, but the contracts ha have uh, um, have been the same contracts used by all DAOs, which is the spending DAO contract. Uh, but like, there's a lot of granular permissions you can get. But traditionally, um, like the council usually does everything. Uh, the difference you can see here is uh, there's an all portion here that basically allows all to do someone. This is to like easily uh, have permissions for this. I'm gonna again like deselect everything and. Uh, make it so that they can only propose a function call. Go to next, voting permissions, I'm gonna do the same. I don't want the proposer to do anything actually. I don't want them to have a role or be part of the voting body which executes anything because that's up to the council. And then I'm gonna click next and then you create the DAO assets. The difference between this is this is actually based on uh, whatever, uh, it, it, this isn't based on the social dot near contract. So when you upload on Astro plus plus and you, uh, do this, you're actually updating your near like social profile. And then on potluck, this is what we use on near social as an account. This is what we'll use. So there is compatibility towards the profile information there. Um, so I'm going to add something quick. I'm going to delete this default. Um, Give me one moment. Okay. I'm gonna set this image. This is what we use for the DAO builders group. And then it's gonna create a new DAO. Um, like you might see. So if you're a DAO builder and you're actually building DAO components, um, one of the things that you have to do and you'll notice is you'll actually um take all the arguments and you'll hash it or you'll put it in a buffer args. And so a lot of us, this, this is what we're doing, whatever arguments that we're taking. Um, which is, you know, the name, the policy, the config, the roles, all the stuff. I'm going to link um, the contract stuff in the description. Um, it's basically uh, like like putting it through a buffer args and uh, and but this is all encrypted in there. It calls this as a create and then you're going to actually see it's going to deploy under the DAO dash builders dot Sputnik DAO dot near as its own contract. Um, and so if you go to create DAO and I'm not going to do anything here, the only place this image is going to show is on Astro DAO. Um, I'm going to click create new DAO. It's going to redirect to my near wallet, which is where I'm connected right now. Um, uh, yeah, give me one moment. So right now there's a problem with my near wallet where I actually need a VPN to, uh, for it to work. Uh, this is something I notified the team about, but, uh. So I got onto a VPN. It works now. Like this is this is a known issue uh, uh with my near wallets. If you're uh, facing an issue like I just saw, just get on a VPN. I can go more information. It shows create, it shows the same type of arguments. It doesn't really matter where I did it from. Um, the only difference is each of these after plus plus and Astro DAO have indexers. Um, actually, the Astro DAO one of the main reasons why they're deprecating is they're spending five thousand dollars a month on maintaining this middleware. It's all open source, and I'll, I'll, the the repos will be in the description of this video. Uh, but uh, they have these indexers that uh some DAOs don't even show on Astro like DAO. Uh, and then also some uh proposals may take a while to show up on Astro Plus Plus, and I'll show you alternative to that. So. 
before I even put um so let me go back to uh this is the homepage app dot astrodow. If I go to all feed, like right now it's showing a global feed of everything, but uh if I go I was looking for a DAO earlier and I couldn't uh find it. So I mean hopefully this will let's go to like so this Okay, this is a, an example of DAO, but like usually the way I work in a lot of applications is I, if I have something like an address, I like replace it with another address. So for example, this is a, a an address for a DAO that is linked to uh, like Potluck, for example. And it was actually made on Astro DAO. And you might see it saying it's receiving data from the contract. And like, normally this would work, but it's saying an error 404. So right now we have clear, like there is a, a clear, deprecation or a clear sign that things on AstroDAO are not picking up, even certain proposals, especially when we use Keypalm as, a, as which is a, like a link drop, a way to create trial accounts and links that uh, have money in it. Um, when we do stuff to like create accounts as a DAO or propose to do a DAO, we normally don't see it on AstroDAO. Um, um, and this is why we use alternative ser services. Sometimes it doesn't even show on Astro++. Plus Plus, and a lot of us use different gateways. So if I'm on the Potluck gateway for Boss or if I'm on the new builders gateway and I haven't been whitelisted by Pikespeak, I won't be able to see um, all that. And you might be asking like, why do we need an indexer? Um, an indexer really helps supporting, um, especially in Astro++. Plus Plus, you can actually comment on proposals and the comments are on the social down your contract um and then also it's really hard to index all a uh, thousand plus DAOs that have been deployed by this contract um and like traverse all DAOs um so an indexer helps supporting with the search of DAOs with the 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 linking of proposals to uh social but I'll, I'll show like an alternative there so I'm going to deploy this this costs six near to deploy this isn't really a fee paid by Splunk and now this is a storage cost for contracts usually contract deployments cost from like four to six near as you might have seen by the deployed pot um which was costing four point something near and so it's going to deploy this I'm going to confirm I'm deploying this through after plus plus on the near social gateway um is going to uh, redirect okay so give me one moment I didn't actually sign in so I'm gonna sign in do that builders out near there's enough near on this but ahead of time I didn't I didn't I didn't I I skipped the part where I I, uh, I was on the corner selling uh who knows what to get some near but uh let's go here purpose of the DAO let's go back and do it we're gonna go through the steps again you're gonna get really good at this for a lot of you DAO builders there there's also a test net I'm not sure if there's a test net version of this uh but there is a test net version of that the linked in the social kind of pre-populated cool down period zero um I'm not even sure if that works necessarily. Uh, let's go here. Let's add a proposer. Let's go to next step. Okay, we see that available here. So one thing I like about AfterDAO, and this is something I'm going to add to the backlog, is that it says, hey, you made a group. You can't just have it empty. Um, So um, that's one of the in enforcers there where it would have told me that. And then, uh, yeah, also it shows like valid addresses here. That takes a little bit while uh, for that to show. Um, take out everything except the function call proposal. And then let's take everything out here. But yeah, please somebody build fungible token DAOs, build NFT based DAOs. I will help you secure funding if you have an expertise in DAOs or working in near smart contracts. Uh, because we desperately needed this tooling. Uh, and then going to do this again. Uh, put that there. Going to create new DAO. Now it's logged in. It's going to redirect. Going to cost $20 because that's what six nears at. But I would deploy contracts now, to be honest. Near has been all the way up to like 20 bucks at a time. So like back in the back in the like peak of the bull, we were paying a hundred dollars to deploy DAOs. And so like a lot of times when near was a dollar, like we were we deployed a lot of our DAOs then because we knew um there. And so we directed back the name of the DAO was DAO Builders. And so I'm gonna actually go here. Um, this is what I really like about uh 
like near. So I'm gonna go here. This is for Ref Finances DAO. Um, one thing that they have uh, that that Astra uh, DAO doesn't have the plus plus is the flow of funds. This is powered by Pikes Peak. Seeing the current balances. Um, they also have discussions built in with fees and things like that. Uh, but I'm going to uh, basically take this DAO ID from Ref Finance. Um, this is how I navigate on Boss. I, I commonly like swap out things. And the contract name is Dow Dash Builders. That's Sputnik near because they can and you can see here this is the actual uh Dow here. And so what some things that you want to might change immediately that wasn't available from the portal and this is the same thing as Astro Dow is you might want to change uh like the quorums. Um, so normally everything that you do you have to create a proposal and then again this is the the Dow and this is the account name. And then uh you can do something like here like a function call. Um, you may directly put the JSON arguments here and then they have markdown supported stuff um, on here in the contract. This is primarily what I don't like to do. I'll usually create a boss component that like if it's an NFT minting, I'll say propose to mint as an NFT and I'll go back to the proposals and then I'll execute on that and tell the rest of the data to execute on that. Just kind of how we're operationally doing things. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to create a project as a DAO and then how to apply to a pot as a DAO. But I wanted to show you like how people are creating a DAOs initially um, because the tooling has changed. And so, all right, here I'm going to, like on the settings, one thing I really don't like about the settings, okay, there's something called bonded deadlines. I usually change this to 0 0.01. 0 0.1 near is around 30 cents. 0 0.01 is like, Three cents at like in near at, at three dollars. Um, but basically, uh, what a pro like a bond is is the minimum amount that you need to put in order to put a proposal. So rather than having someone spam a thousand, a hundred thousand transactions, um, like this is like the minimum amount, and once the vote has happened, the money is returned to you. Um, and then also the time for a proposal to expire. So if you know your DAO has a tendency to like take two weeks, you'll extend this, and then when you do this, um, let's say. Uh, and I'm the only voting member. I'm the only person on this council. If there was two people, it would require a majority and it would require both those people to vote because um, like one is not a majority. It's, it's half. You need more than 50%. And so um, as of right now, even if I added someone, it would require two. If just me on the council through the Dow Builders account, it would just be me. Even though there's another member, Plug Reldon here as a proposer, he has no permission to vote on anything. He'll be able to propose function calls. This isn't a function call. Um, this is this is a change policy. But um, just just to give that background of, of what's uh going on there. Um, and so uh, let's say the minimum is point zero one, and then let's propose changes. You can see here. Um, this is what's going on. Let's just go through here. Um, and it's costing me point one because that's the current policy, but. I'm trying to change that because like I only got 0.93 left. I spent I just spent six near on uh deployment. And so we're gonna do this. It's right now going back to space and coming back. Um this also latency right here isn't based on the blockchain. It's a lot of uh middleware and then VPN stuff going on. Um just um so you know, because I I also have um I use like different bots and indexes and I tend to get notifications immediately, but um, there's that's kind of an issue in the ecosystem. If I go to proposals, I can see now it's a change policy update. They have a diff changer to actually show you what it was before and what it changed uh, to. And then you can see the required votes. It, it takes out the submitted time and when it was expired at. You can also see comments. So this comment is based on like near social, like for example of a comment. Um, but this is what a lot boss really allows us to do. So you can see here, like this is actually on the social graph on the social dot near contract. I'm just going to save the data for example purposes. Um, eight cents for a comment. Was it worth it? Like, but I'm going to go back, show you that there, but that, that's like one of the reasons why an indexer is needed. Um, I'm going to also show you an example without an indexer. A lot of times if I don't see the proposal here and I know it executed, I want to block this floor, I, I paid and I'm looking at my balance or I'm looking at the wallet and it's saying that, um, I will go somewhere else. So you can see one comment here. Um, and the, yeah, this wasn't something that was available on after that. It was, but it wasn't. It, it, they use a, a kind of a centralized middleware process. I'm going to show you something pretty uh, unique. So if, if I go back to this and I go to Dow Builders dot near, even though I just created it, like I'm pretty sure it won't show on after Dow. And that happens a lot where like unless we use after Dow, 
we're probably not going to see it picked up by its indexers. So just um, so you know there. But there are stuff that I do like about it because on AstroDAO, you can actually change the quorum or the minimum amount of people needed to vote. So although you need 50% of those, 50 plus percent of those people to execute, the amount that you need the quorum can be reduced. And on the settings, there's um there's UI for that. So you can go to each group and set the quorums. So usually I'll be doing all of my settings stuff before Astro Plus came out and I'll be actually adjusting it on Astro on DAO, the app. But uh, like now I can't even uh, display this, but on, on certain DAOs where it is showing, um, like I, I often change the proposals there. So that's something um that is being added to the backlog. Um and let me just I go to neardc.org slash astra backlog. Um this lives under the tech work group. You could actually see a GitHub project board um where you can see a lot of these uh, issues uh be put. So um yeah this is this is a, an issue that was just put on today. And then let me go to Adopt page. So this is something that um S King near built way back. Um, he's not actually updating these components, but this is often what I would use, and it was a precursor to After Plus Plus. He was one of the developers behind uh this, and so it's S King page. I'm gonna link here in a DAO ID. I'm gonna change to to DAO Builder. So before, if the indexer isn't picking it up, I'll often like like do something here and a lot of times this might happen because we have scripts that are like maybe adding stuff to DAO or proposing uh to do a lot of stuff to DAO. so i'll often do it on here this is another example too where i can vote it also picks up the comment with no indexer too because it's on the uh social uh, but this is kind of my fail safe on here and then you can easily fork it if you don't know about boss if you're interested in development um this is um like these are all the components it's dependent on and then i can uh directly fork it too and so a lot of us have forked it um, and then build other components on top of it. And so just for that information for like how we're building these DAO components um, and how we're thinking about it and how we're able to bootstrap these functionalities into Potluck. But I'm going to uh, kind of go back and you can also see members here um, and it's linked to the near social information. So this is the way more interactive thing on here. And this is what I use uh, when on uh, Boss. So because this isn't like, like, needing any indexers just works on any of the gateways and like so this is also on the potluck gateway so if i'm already doing stuff already logged in i'll just switch to these components um and you can tell it's owned by s king near the name is dow page and the props are dow id and the, the props for the tab is members um just so you kind of get an understanding of like how we're how we're kind of within this up all right so i'm gonna go back to astro plus plus i'm gonna basically vote to approve uh, do I want to notify? I'm not going to notify. So what they did is they added a notification component that actually notifies them on your social. You see this bell on the corner. Um, that that requires extra gas too. Uh, but I I declined from doing that. I didn't I didn't know they did that. Um, because I I really use S Kings to be honest. Um, and then I use Learn Your Watchbot. Um, to to tag the DAO IDs or tag any time a member has been mentioned, and that's uh, and then we commonly put that in our DAO group. Uh, but I'll show you how to do that in a later video. So you're going to see here, I voted. I'm the only member on here. I thought I voted. Uh, and it tells me that I'm allowed to vote. You can also vote on multiple things at one time. Um, and then you also have a, a tool tip for that. But let me go back to here on S Kings. Let me go back to proposals. Did I just vote? I swear I just vote. Okay, so you can see it 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 like registered this, but then I'm like looking on Astro Plus Plus. This is why like I, I really don't like uh personally. Okay, so now it says it's approved. So like often I'm bugging, that's why I use like a bunch of different components. Um, but now if I go to create proposal and then I'm like add member to a role, I'm gonna choose a role, I'm gonna choose a proposal. Um And then I'm going to be like, uh, who should I add? Let me add James. James is a DAO builder. I can change this out here. I can propose to add member. Okay. See, this is what I don't like. They got some errors on here. Like, it says it's optional, but they're really making me do it. Oh, okay. Never mind. They just needed me to enter that, but UI issues. Now you see the deposit is 0.01. So there's 
a policy config that's checking on here that checks what the bond amount is and it does here. I'm only mentioning that because if you're building a, a tool, you'll actually have to check that. And that's what we do often. So it works with every DAO. Um, but it just, this was point 0.1. So it just got cheaper. And that's because we just voted to change uh, uh, the policy around that. And then, yeah, I can go more information, see again, like I don't, I don't trust anything. So I always check it out here. It's not string. It's like the function call proposals aren't, are like, are, 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 are put through a buffer, but now you can actually see everything raw when it's like something as simple as like an add member to a role. And, and again, this is in the original Sputnik DAO contracts. It's going to propose to do it. This person has not been added. You still have to vote on it. And the one person on the council who has the voting permission is this account that I'm using. So we can execute on it. Um, but that's pretty much the most of it in terms of what can be done with a DAO. Um, there's a lot of different stuff being done. If you go to Astro DAO, they have like a global feed of what's going on in DAOs. I don't think this currently exists on here. Being it's kind of being whack right now. Okay, so my feed, I'm not following any DAOs or I'm not part of any DAOs, but let me go to the global feed. So you can see who's the research collective. So they're doing function call transfers. So if you wanted to pass your own JSON, they're actually proposing to buy NFTs. Um, I clicked on it. You can see how much are people who are their roles on it and how much they can vote by. This is kind of the differences going on. But again, this is uh, being deprecated. Um, Rainbow Bridge, which is the bridge like that's built as a DAO. Um, this example of a removed member role, you can see it's been approved. Um, trophy got removed uh, by Marmaje. And uh, yeah, they were cleaning up house. They were moving, they even removed Chloe from the council. Um, so it's very interesting. And again, this comment is not the same as the comment you saw before. It's a different type of uh, centralized service. So you can see like the types of stuff going on, the transfers, uh, the remove proposals, yada, yada, like, yeah. Um, this is an example of uh, donating CDAO to BDAO. Do we have donate as a DAO already? All right, so like this is something you can do. This is a function call too, where they're actually donating on here. Uh, they may have done this directly from Astro DAO or Astro Plus Plus. I don't think we built it in the UI, but uh, yeah, that's a little bit of a background of how to change things. Um, there are missing features. I definitely put that in the backlog. Also, if you want to kind of get a better understanding of the evolution of DAOs, um, if you go to nearbuilders.com slash DAO dash map, there is essentially like a all of uh, everything that is DAOs on the internet history that was being worked on. Um, but there's a lot to build. Hopefully that video helped you. I know I went over a lot, uh, but yeah. See you everybody.